back with Stuart Gale this morning from Meteoric Resources. Stuart, morning. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Yeah, very good, Stuart. Uh, significant update from you here, a more than 50% increase to the global resource at Caldera. Uh, what's fed into this? Oh, look, this is just uh, some additions in the northern areas, Andrew. So, you, you know, Donna Maria 1, Donna Maria 2 and CVM, which are a couple of the northern extensions, which are outside our current pre-feasibility program at the moment, which we're working on. Uh, but very nice to have those uh, resource updates included. And, you know, as you point out, it was a, a 50% increase in our resource. But I think more importantly, uh, the number to look at is on the measured and indicated, which increased by you know, 91% there to, to nearly 600 million tonnes uh, worth of measured and indicated resource. And so, so what that's all about and the drilling programs have been about over the last little period of time is really to identify those quality areas uh, and in particular the areas that, that are showing strong signs from a magnetics perspective. Uh, and those northern areas, um, as we've pointed out in previous releases, do have some high levels of uh, higher levels of magnetics, in particular the heavies. So, so we're very pleased with it. I, I think one thing I'll just add to that as well is that this does not include uh, our most recent drilling, which is at Barra de Baku, uh, which of course we've had a chat about, and which is immediately south of where we're going to start mining at Capo de Mel. Uh, nor does it include Agostino. So, you know. I can't give you a number, but when those numbers come in, it just grows again. Look, this significant increase in measured and indicated plus notable concentrations of magnetic rare earth oxides, what, what are the potential knock-ons for project economics here? Yeah, well, look, I, I think this is, this is one of these areas that we're just starting to prove up, which is potentially stage two for meteoric. So stage one is very clearly a capo de mel, BDP, which we've spoken about, but also Suburbo and Figuera, which are the other two areas in the southern part. So they are the core mining licences that we're working on to deliver the 20, um, sorry, the 5 million tonne per annum processing facility. Um, and the PFS that we're working on includes those projects. Um, these northern areas are setting themselves up for, for stage two of our growth. Uh, and you, you know, we, we're not quite sure what that looks like at this stage, Andrew, uh, but but stage two, it looks exciting to us, and, and you can really see that in one way, shape, or form um, starting to uh, starting to uh, have a little more attention paid to it. And you see the potential here for multiple processing hubs at the project? Yeah, look, that's, that's the initial thought process. Uh, you, you might also consider a slurry pipeline. We just have to think about the economics of all of those sorts of things. We have to think about access. Uh, but, but certainly once we've got our, our PFS out, which we're expecting will, will come out uh, in May, once we've updated the resource on Barra de Baku, uh, we've scheduled that resource, uh, then we can incorporate that into the, the PFS. So, so that's, that's the expectation around timing. For there, but you know, then we'll move on and pay, uh, uh, you know, give some attention to what might need to be licensed and and managed in those northern areas. Well, look, we're speaking to you today from uh, Rio. What's on the agenda while you're over there? Yeah, look, well, well, we we're over at, at PDAC, which you know we had some some very positive discussions in Toronto. Uh, we've zipped down to to Rio. Uh, the Brazilian Development Bank BNDS has been holding. Um, some very interesting uh, discussions and talks for the last couple of days uh, with all parts of the critical mineral supply chain. Um, we've participated in those and, and we've had some, some really positive discussions. BNDS has been very positive in terms of their support of our project uh, and also critical minerals more broadly, but they call strategic minerals here in Brazil. So from a strategic minerals perspective, BNDS uh, have the ability to support these projects uh, and we're working on how we might be able to um, obtain some of that support, but it's been positive. Good to see you, Stuart. Thanks for your time. Likewise, Andrew. Good on you.